Libras! Welcome to the second half of December love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So as always, I'm going to jump right into the meditative session. For those who are new to tarot or new to my channel, uh, if you're wondering on how to interpret what I'm saying or take home what I'm saying or how to pick what signs you want to watch uh, or just how energy works in general, how tarot card readings work in general. I've got a nice little like one-on-one -on -one, whatever you need to know video uh, that I really suggest everybody watch at least once if you're new or don't really have a good understanding of how tarot works. It's called how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer and the link is below. Okay so Libras let's get right into it. So Libras I was picking up on a lot of different energies around you a lot okay you might be out and about a lot but i just feel like you're getting a lot of attention right now you have a lot of eyes on you in the first half of december okay um and when you get a lot of attention it can be positive it can be negative and i definitely felt both okay libra i did i did feel a lot of admirers or just people who like really respect you and look up to you they might even be seeking your advice at this time i was getting a little bit of that like um a little bit of like, hey, Libra, how do you do this? Or Libra, I'm trying to do this. What do you think? What's your suggestion? That kind of energy. It's really nice. It's really nice. Like people really look up to you, at least to the Libras that I'm... Sorry, I don't I just got to tell it as I was talking. At least to the Libras that I'm talking to, okay? Uh, some of you, they might be coming to you for advice or really respect you because I feel some of you are really involved in activism and, volu and volunteering. That's really come through quite a bit, actually, for some of the readings that I've done. Um, some of you are really into the public, what does that mean into the public? You help the public. You're part of the public. You like, you're known in the public. You might just be known in your community. Oh, I did just hear church. Oh, okay. So you guys might do a lot at church and you know, it is holiday season. So usually there's a lot of stuff going on at churches. And so maybe you're just having to delegate a lot or like help a lot of people. Oh, yeah, just like you're out and about and a lot of people are looking at you, seeing you, admiring you. I do feel a lot of romantic energies as well. You could have a lot of suitors right now, Libra, or a lot of people wanting to give you that romantic attention. Now, I do kind of feel one person in particular, <laughs> it's kind of cute, Libra. Uh, it's like, it's very like butterflies kind of energy. Like you really make someone nervous, but it's really cute. You make someone really, really nervous, but they, they've got so much love for you. I think that's really, really cute. Um, maybe you don't even know that yet. Maybe you are aware, um, but it does feel like a potential romance there for you, Libra. Um, at the very least, a secret admirer, and maybe you just like the attention. Now let's get to the stuff that wasn't so pleasant. I felt a lot of jealousy a lot of jealousy libra sorry i'm like every time this comes in for people i'm just like why <laughs> why fuck with people who are doing good you know i mean i know why i mean we all know why it's just like oh god it's just annoying it's just annoying right when you have to deal with that but libra you do got some haters you got some haters in the midst and mercury retrogrades over so i don't know why these people are hating so bad right now on you um keep in mind libra like these people might try really hard to make your job hard like that was getting that really really strong like they want to make your life difficult okay and it is jealousy it is pure jealousy at the end of the day okay for some of you i gotta be honest this is a jilted lover it is for some of you straight up it's a jilted lover or someone who's very jealous about the attention you're getting on a romantic level or just from people in general um i re yeah libra sorry i'm just there's sh there's showing me visuals here yeah I feel like a lot of you, this is within the workplace. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, this is within the workplace. They might really try to fuck with you. Okay, they might really try to fuck with you. If someone starts acting out, let them act out. Let them. Just l let them do their thing. Let them dig their own grave, okay? If someone wants to take that low vibrational route, they're going to take it whether you go with them on the ride or not. So don't go on the ride with them. Let them act out. People will say they're being foolish, whatever it is. If you've done nothing wrong or if you've got nothing to hide, you're golden, you're fine, okay? But I, I do feel someone might try something really kind of low. Yeah, like really kind of low and ugly. And Libra, keep in mind, like Mars is in Scorpio for the rest of 2019. I think it goes into Sag like the first week of January, if I'm not mistaken, maybe like, is it January 2nd? 2nd or 6th? I think it's, and they're showing me 2 and 6. I don't know why they're showing, them. those might be important dates for you, but the 2nd and the 6th of January, they're sh actually showing me those dates. So maybe that's what it is. Um, but anyway, as Mars is in Scorpio, everybody's going to be a little testy, okay? People will be on on that game of personal attacks and wanting to really, like, dig deep into people, cut into people in that very scorpionic, venomous way. But this is not a time to do that. This is not a time to do that. I talked about this in the Leah reading, actually. Um, we have a lot of Capricorn energy going on right now, Libra. We've had it for the whole year. It's really been picking up the last couple months. I talked about Judgment Day energy the last couple months. December's going to be big. 
February is going to be huge, huge for that. And then we have the eclipse at the end of December on the 26th. Oh, that's 22 and 6. On the 26th of December, you don't want that to bite you in the ass. So if people are going to act out right now, it will come back to them. Trust me, it will. Okay. So if they're coming after you, just let them. I feel like you're protected anyway, Libra. They did show me cannons, which I thought was interesting. And that's what I was, that's what I was getting with like the jealousy. Like I do feel like people might try to actually target you right now, Libra. So just be mindful of that, but you're good. You're good. If you've done right by people, you've done right by you, and <laughs> sorry. if you've done right by you and you've done right by other people and you got nothing to hide, you're fine. Let them dig their own grave on that one, okay? All right, Libras. So let's get into the pre-shuffle. Oh, 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 okay. I felt compelled to use the Spellcasters deck for you guys, and the Seven of Cups is dying to come out, but I'm not going to take it because I barely just started shuffling. Um, but I felt compelled to, to use this deck for you guys. Please report any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Please report any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of the... Oh, Libra, I'm getting a download here. Some of you have a hater where it's a thing about age. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Um... And that happens. There are some people who are like that. There are some people who really want to hate on the younger people, the older people, whatever it is. For I do feel like it's an older person hanging, hating on a younger person, even if the age difference is just like 10 years. You could be 40. This person could be 50. You know, it's that it's that ageist kind of jealousy of like, who does the person think they are? You know, they think they know so much. Or they think they're so good. Or they, yeah, it's like it's that low vibrational. It's that low vibrational. It's just jealousy. Just let them stew in their crap. Um, at this time, I talked about this in the New Moon Sag video. Um, there's going to be even more of a divergence of people who are high vibrational and low vibrational because this energy is really um, allowing us to break into higher dimensions and to really level up our consciousness, um, our consciousness game, so to speak. And people who can't do that are going to be even more obvious and fall even more behind while people who are already on that train are going to get a little boost in that arena. So it's going to be way more obvious now and a, and a much bigger disparity. So keep in mind that when that happens, you're vibing higher. Your light is stronger. So people who were low vibe before are going to feel even more low vibe now than they did before. Okay. Please import any messages of true feeling and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. <laughs> I just heard bake sale. Oh, that's cute. I really feel a lot of you are spending time at church. I'm picking up on a lot of church vibe, which is kind of interesting. I almost never pick up on that something specific as far as religious stuff is concerned. But, you know, it is Christmas time, so we're getting ready for Christmas. Yeah, I'm, I'm tapped into somebody or a group of people that's like, you guys are all about church. I think that's cool. I think that's cool. I think any kind of communal thing, whatever it's surrounding, as long as it's, you know, helping people, not hurting people, I think is really positive. So that's really cool. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love. I'm seeing horses now. What is this? Now I'm seeing a ranch. Okay. Um, oh, equestrian therapy? Is that a thing? That's a thing, right? I like I literally just got that sense of therapy and they showed me like horses and horse riding. I think some of you guys might be trying that out. Um, yeah, yeah, equestrian therapy. If not, I think you, you probably you're probably going to feel guided to and then you're going to wonder, can I afford it? And nah, nah, nah. then give it a try. Give it a try. That's really cool. I like that. All right. Horses are also a totem of power. Oh, here we go. Yes, a totem of power here. Libra, your power is really showing. You can't hide it right now. Okay, you can't hide it. And I think a part of that is because you're really enjoying it too. Like there are some signs that have a really hard time hiding their power from people just because it's like they sit in it so well. There are some signs that you just can rock that, you know, like Leos can rock that, Scorps can rock that, Cancers can rock that. Not saying, not saying it, like there are signs that can't. I'm just saying some signs really wear it out even if they're not aware, you know? But Libra, I think because you're really enjoying what you built for yourself and just who you are right now and really enjoying life, you just can't hide that. You can't hide your joy. And it's pissing some people off, but some people really admire that, you know? Closing forward any messages of truth, feeling, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. 
Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Libra. So Moon Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November, December. Excuse me, December. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of children. Some of you guys are spending more time around kids than you ever have before. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know what's changing that for you because I feel like this is for Libras who don't really have children in their life. So I don't know why all of a sudden you'd be around children unless you're like intentionally being around them. I, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of kids. I'm seeing a lot of kids. So again, it could be more volunteer, volunteer work that you're getting into. Or some of my Libras could just feel really compelled to volunteer now if they haven't before. All right, let's get some cards out here for the pre-shuffle. We're 10 minutes in. Uh, please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. I like that. Sorry, that just gave me the creeps. I just heard mommy. Oh, maybe some of you guys are going to become a mom soon. That's kind of cute. Anyway, Capricorn energy it could also be earth or water here. Yeah, this is someone who's a business owner, someone who knows someone who knows how to handle their shit, uh, someone who's also a multitasker, someone who's very loyal and very confident as well, quite a nurturer. Oh, but someone who doesn't step on toes. I don't know why that just came in really strong. Doesn't step on toes. See what else? This could very well be you, Libra, or someone you're connecting with. Oh, someone sees you like this, Libra. I like that. Someone sees you like this. Someone who's really careful to not step on other people's toes. Someone who's very, yeah, someone who's careful, cautious, and methodical, and it served you well. Any other messages for Libra? Please import any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Woo! Mm-hmm, they're the haters. I knew it. Five of Wands, Leo Energy. There are the freaking haters. Really? Ugh. Please. <laughs> I know. I'm just like, oh, I know that. Um, also, Libra, sorry. I don't mean to be dramatic. Uh, Libra, you could also be, like I said, getting a lot of attention. And I think maybe part of you might be tired of some of that attention and turning your back to that a little bit. That's for some of you. I think it's more the low vibrational attention, like the haters. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. I'm getting February again. Yeah, February is going to be big. February is going to be big. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for the for those who need it. Sorry, I'm getting too many too much information. Hold on. Now we have seven of wands in reverse Leo energy. I'm getting defenseless. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. They want you to be defenseless. Your haters want you to be defenseless. I just noticed that hive and then I heard hive mind. Hive mind. I feel like I've gotten that before Libra recently for you. I forget what I've done a lot of readings. <laughs> I do a lot of readings guys for Patreon and YouTube included. Yeah, we've got double on the bottom. I'm not loving this. Let's see if we get one more card and then we'll start the reading here. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Keep hearing Leo. Keep hearing Leo, by the way. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Someone could be having issues with their mother. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles can be a mother energy. Somebody might have, be having issues with their mom. Feeling like they can't defend themselves when it comes to that person. Ooh. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Yeah, Libra, I really feel like someone, like, I feel like more than just one person wants you to just start doing bad at work or, or like, wants, wants to hit you hard at work. Yeah, wants to hit you hard at work. I don't like that. That's, that's shitty. Okay. Anyway, Libra, let's go ahead and get into your actual reading here. Any messages for Libra regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages for Libra? Regarding love for the first half of December. I'm seeing a black lab. I know dogs are about loyalty, but what like black lab specifically? One of you guys could just have a black lab. But that felt really specific, and I feel like it's symbolic. I do feel like it's symbolic. Um are there I don't think there's meanings for specific species or like breeds species excuse me breeds is the right word uh that's interesting but black is an interesting color too black is about change and transformation it could also be endings it could also be endings but around in loyalty around loyalty don't buy the hand that feeds you i just heard that don't buy the oh libra you can employ some of these people oh <laughs> you 
could employ some of these people. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, any messages for Libra regarding love for the first half of December? Let's see here. Three of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Aries energy also with uh, Virgo. Virgo with that Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles also a pre-Empress card for me as a reader. So someone on their way to being an Empress or someone who's of Empress quality but doesn't have a full empire yet or doesn't have an emperor to run shit with. I feel a longing with this too. There could be distance here between you and someone that you're connecting with. I just feel like someone's like, I've worked so hard, I've worked so hard. Are my dreams here yet? Are my ships here yet? Kind of feels like that. For some, it's waiting on a person, which we've talked about waiting on people. I'm not going to go into the whole diatribe, but y'all know how I feel about it. Yeah, it's like I worked so hard. I built myself up. I got a lot going for myself. I want a little more. What's the next thing? What's my next thing? And wondering if it's coming or not. And for some, it's wondering if that, that person to share it with is coming or not. Libra, this could be you or it could be the person you're connecting with or someone in your environment. You got a lot of people in your environment, Libra, I'm telling you right now. You got a lot of people in your environment. Whether, you're realize, you're, whether you realize it or not, tapping into your energy, there's a lot of people tapping into you, okay? Oh, wow. Ace of Pentacles, King of Wands in reverse, Leo. I don't know. I don't like that. Uh, Leo could also be Fire Air. It's funny. I was getting Leo too. Six of Cups in reverse, Scorpio. Oh, no, 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 no. King of Swords in reverse, Aqua. With the seven of swords. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, it's making me nauseous. I got a huge pit in my stomach now after looking at these cards. I don't love this energy at all. I mean, look at this. Oh, that's like, that is just, that's anger. That's low vibe. It's narcissism for some. Selfishness. It's also lies. And with the seven of swords, deception. I like, oh, I... It's actually making me really nauseous. <sighs> Any messages for Libra regarding love? Eight of Wands. I like seeing Eight of Wands here. This is movement, unstoppable movement at that. This is not, you're not going to stop you. You're not going to stop this shit, right? Whatever this movement is towards, it's not going to stop. And I feel like it's actually your progress, Libra. No one can stop you. No one can stop you. Honestly, I feel like you're protected. These people want to hate on you. These people want to bury you. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. It's also communication. Libra, watch watch your text messages. I don't know why I feel like they might try to bury you with your own words. What? Just watch your words, okay? Watch your words, Libra. Any other messages for Libra regarding love for the first half of December? Overall energy, ooh, we got the, whoa, tower with the death card. Both in reverse, both Scorpio, this is also Aries because it's Mars energy. This feels like a big fat tower moment, Libra. Underneath that, we do have strength in reverse, more Leo energy. Heavy Leo going on for you. You could be connecting with a Leo or have that in your chart. Ending with the seven of cups, wow, and then we got a queen of wands here, okay? Libra, I'm feeling like this is your energy over here. Options, you got options galore. Like I said, a lot of people want a piece of you right now, okay? And I feel like you're on the, the train of progress, and it's not going to stop, even though people want to stop you. It's not going to stop, but I do feel like you've got some quite a bit of options here. But this energy, oh, this is like, this is really shaking someone's confidence. Whatever this tire moment is, I feel like it's coming. I don't feel like it's happened yet. It could have happened already for some of you. We all work through energy differently. <sighs> It just, it, it, feel, it feels like a really bad tower moment that's shaking someone's confidence in themselves. It's meant to. It's weird. That's so weird. Like an intention of, an intention of shaking confidence. It could be a tower that these fools are trying to cause in your life, Libra, to shake your confidence. Okay. So just be mindful of that. But, oh God, I'm going to have to take a break after this one, guys. All right. So let's take a look at this. I do feel like this is your energy of like, where's my next thing? I've been working on this, that, or the other. Where's my next pentacle to get to my 10? You know, it's that kind of energy. Or you're waiting on someone. Or there's a sense of waiting. Let's look at the three of wands. If there is someone that you're waiting for, Libra, or someone that you're missing, there is a sense of distance. Could be geographical or just emotional. I feel like there's been a lot that's like drifted between you if this is you longing for someone, all right? But let's look at three of wands. I'm gonna use the uh, Radiant Wise deck for this. I'm a three of wands for Libra. 
regarding love for the first half of December. So I got three of wands. The Libra regarding love for the first half of December. So I got three of wands. For Libra regarding love for the first half of December. One more. I got three of wands. Oh, by the way, I updated the deck. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I updated the deck links for those who are wanting this deck. So I got three of wands. Thank you again, Michelle. So I got three of wands. For Libra for the first half of December. So I'm about the three of wands for Libra. There's the ten. It's in the form of cups, but hey. Ten. <laughs> Ten of Cups. Yeah, that's what's been, that's the longing for. That's the goal. That's the goal. And Libra, I feel like you're on the fast track to this energy with or without people. It's like you're, you're focused on your ultimate happiness. What's going to make you happy? You're putting you first. And I feel like you've been doing that. I just want to make that very clear. You've been doing that. And you know, when people do that, it always upsets people, especially those who can't do that for themselves. So I'm at the Three of Wands. So I got three of wands for Libra for the first half of December. So I got the three of wands for Libra. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Death, scorpionic energy, and the four of swords. This is a major transformative energy going on here, Libra. If you're waiting on a person, they're going through some shit, okay? They're changing. Oh, they're showing me that black lab again. Oh, they're showing me that black lab again. The loyalties with this person or people, they're going. it's going through a change. A very deep, deep ass change. Four of Swords is the energy of recovery. It's literally taking time out to get to get straight about something or to actually heal, okay? Or to be grateful for uh, coming out of a really awful time. And with the Death card, there's trans there's transformation happening with whoever's in this energy, okay? Overall, we do have the Chariot. Cancerian energy could also be um, Cancer because it's a Cancer uh, Major Arcana card. Then we have the Two of Swords, Moon and Libra energy. Uh, so Libra... I feel like you're this nine of pence energy here and you're not, you're not exactly waiting, but you're kind of like, where, where's my 10? <laughs> you're just like, where's my 10? My 10 of pence, my 10 of cups. Where is it? I worked really hard. Is it happening yet? You either have one person in mind in particular going through this energy, or you could be going through this energy yourself in order to, to finally get to your 10. Some of you might be even resisting doing this. Death card can be resistance. So maybe resisting this little change or recovery you need to do in order to get going again, to get your Ten of Cups. So just be mindful that for some, you're getting in your own way. But if you're waiting on someone or an opportunity, there's something about it that's transforming and it needs to transform is what I'm getting. But overall, the Chariot with the Two of Swords, yeah, it's like, I'm going, I'm going, going. Where's my Ten? Where's my Ten? Two of Swords, a little bit of like, I'm getting like Gatekeeper. Oh, that's weird. Gatekeeper. Yeah, there's another person involved in this Ten of Cups for you, Libra. There's another person involved in this Ten of Cups for you, and either you don't know it yet, you haven't met them because they're healing and transforming, or you know exactly who it is, and they need to go through their shit. But with that Two of Swords energy, it's like, can't move forward yet. You can't get to your Ten yet. There's something stopping you from getting to your Ten. And I think it's because of another person that's supposed to be involved in this. Whether you haven't met them, and they're doing this, or you need to do this and you're resisting that, or you do know them and they just got to get through this, okay? Three different scenarios I'm picking up with that. Um, but yeah, you're not going to get to your 10 yet until that can happen. Oh, that's really interesting. But Libra, either way, you're in a good spot. You're in a good spot. Now, what worries me is this, this crap, this crap over here. This crap is really, like, I get such bad juju energy off of this. I really don't like this shit, but we're going to have to look into this to see what's going on here. Seven of Swords upright, that's active. I feel like that's active deceit or like actively trying to get away with something, but it's attached to an Ace of Pentacles and I don't like that. So we're going to look at this after because I want to look at this person. <laughs> I want to look at who this motherfucker is, <laughs> okay? Uh, I'm like, don't look at the person or what they're up to. No, I'll look at what they're up to. Let's look at the Seven of Swords. Um... I'm going to use Rider Wait for this one. 
Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. For Libra. For the first half of December. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. For Libra, for the first half of December. It's a very, uh... Yeah, I just feel very selfish energy off this person. Very selfish. Tell me about Seven of Swords. Tell me about Seven of Swords for Libra. For the first half of December. Seven of Swords, Two of Cups. I've got the chills all over. Seven of Swords with the Two of Cups. Because definitely around a soulmate connection. Libra, I feel like it's between you and this person. Or they're looking at something that you have with someone and they're like, they're hating that. They're hating on you for that. Let's keep it going. Let's find out more here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. But you look like you're in very independent energy. Independent for sure, but it doesn't mean you're necessarily single. Yeah, for those who are for those who are not single, this person's hating on your connection. Time about the seven of swords. Wow, hair font. Holy shit. Two of Cups with the hair font. That's a divinely guided connection. Or it could be an actual marriage. Okay. Attached to the Seven of Swords. So I remember the Seven of Swords. Come over the Seven of Swords. Come over with the Seven of Swords. Overall energy, we have Nine of Swords in a verse with the Two of Swords. Oh boy. Uh, Libra energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. It's it, This is really weird energy, Libra. I mean, look at this. Seven of Swords with the Two of Cups and the Hierophant. This person might be trying to sneak into a connection with you. Or like I said, trying to sabotage a connection that you have. Yeah, for, it's it's one or the other. So just keep that in mind, Libra. Like I said, you can't get to your 10 yet. You're being stopped either because you have to go through this energy of a bit of a change or transformation and regeneration in order to finally have enough steam to get to the 10 of cups with someone. Um, or you're recently in a connection here and they want to sabotage that. Um Yeah, it's one or the other. It's like they're either trying to sneak in to get this with you or they want to sabotage something like this that you already have. This feels like a spiritual connection or a marriage or marriage potential, okay? I want to look further into this. Yeah, I want to look further into this. Show me the intention behind this Seven of Swords. Using Lenormand deck for this? Sorry, I'm like sucked in. <laughs> I feel like I'm almost watching a movie like, what's going to happen next? All right. Tell me the intention behind this Seven of Swords. But I don't like the energy this person like has with that King of Swords and King of Wands universe. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Tell me the intention. What's the intention behind this Seven of Swords? What's the intention behind this Seven of Swords? You got a Two of Swords on your side and they've got a Two of Swords on their side. They know where you're trying to head, Libra. They know. with. Like, I don't think you're trying to deal with this person, but they know where you're trying to head and it's like they. it's almost like they know that you're not quite there yet. 
And knowing that kind of gives them hope. Yeah, knowing that kind of gives them hope that they can either sabotage a spiritually connected, uh, a spiritual connection or a marriage of yours. Or that they can swoop on in and sneak on back into your life. They know you're not quite where you want to be. It's like it's almost like they know that there's a pause going on in your life that they can just sneak on in there or sabotage whatever they need want to sabotage. What's the intention behind the Seven of Swords, please? Time. Yeah, I knew it. 37 is cyclical energy. Time, the clock. Yeah, they know there's an opening and it's not, they know it's not going to stay open forever. What's the intention behind the Seven of Swords? Mm hmm with the sh <laughs> yeah guys <laughs> with the sh with the ship ten of swords yeah they know their window is small they know there's a window but they know it's small and the fact that there's a window is relieving their um relieving their anxieties about the situation like oh i do have time i do have time to sneak back on sneak back on into libra's life or i do have time to sneak on in and sabotage this connection that libra's got going on Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Tell me more the intention behind this in Seven of Swords. And there's the man with the Ace of Cups. What's the intention behind the Seven of Swords? And then we have the Crane uh, with the Queen of Cups. This is an energy of change. Now, like I said, Libra, some of you are waiting on a person to go through this energy, major deep ass transformation. They might come in and claim that they've changed or they might have actually come in changed, okay? And it could be Libra that this person is supposed to be part of this 10 of cups for you. We do have a divinely guided connection here, okay? For some, like I said, you already have this and this person just wants to sabotage this for you. Others, you're missing a piece of the puzzle to get to your 10 because there's either another person that has to be involved or something else has to change, you or another person. And for some, it might be this person. I'm just saying, I, I'm just reading the cards as they are. Oh, overall energy, we do have the tower, Hierophant energy with the female. With the female. And like I said, we've got the Hierophant here, okay? That there's a small window for them to do this and a small window for them to pull this off. The Hierophant's about institutions. Like I said, the Hierophant. Got the male, the female with the Hierophant. I mean, this is ridiculous. So Libras, just to paraphrase before we go on and even further, you're sitting at the Nine of Pence. You want your 10. You're like, I'm ready for my next thing. I'm ready to enjoy this with someone. I'm ready to just be at my 10. I've worked really hard. I've earned it. I've earned it. I've earned it. Some of you don't realize that you have to go through this energy yourself before you can actually get there, okay? Because that two of swords, there's a pause creating a window of opportunity for this person, okay? Some of you are waiting on a person to go through this energy because they're supposed to be part of your 10, whether you know them or not, okay? Either way, you're paused. You're paused and this person over here this is how you know them okay this is the person you know this is this is the energy of the person you know if you already know this person you have you have to know this person you'd have to there's no way you don't because with that seven of swords it's like they're watching you with that window of opportunity like oh shit libra's paused there's a window I i've got a window i've actually got a window they're excited by that i've got a window to go in and change shit i got a window to either go in and mess up this connection that Libra has with someone already. Or I could go in a changed person to swoop back into Libra's life. However, like I said, if that's the case, they better be changed. And they might not be. They might not be. It's a seven of swords. That's a sneaky swooping, which is what they're trying to do. No matter which way you cut it, that's what they're trying to do with sneaky swooping. But they might not be changed from the person you knew. Or that the person you know them to be. They might not be changed here, okay? But they're coming under the Ace of Pentacles. Either a gift or an opportunity here. But that's what they want. They want to come in and change shit. <sighs> Let's look at the Eight of Wands. <laughs> I know I'm exhausted for you, Libra. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Some of you are just like, no. <laughs> Let's look at the Eight of Wands. Uh, let's do the Haunted Deck. Let's do the Haunted Deck here. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. I feel like this person's going to swoop. Libra, this person's going to swoop in in that little window of opportunity that they have. And I think that's going to be your tower moment. Yeah, that's going to be your tower. Hold on. Why can't I pick these cards up? I'm sorry, guys. Give me a second. That's going to be your tower moment that's going to shake your confidence. You're just going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> this person's back. This person's back. 
Some of you are going to believe they've changed. Some of you are not going to believe they've changed. And some, some they have, some they haven't. I find it hard to believe the cards I'm looking at that they actually have. But if we didn't have this here, I would say no way in hell they've changed. But we do have this here. This is the epitome of taking time to heal yourself and go through a major transformation. And we have death in reverse attached to the tower moment that they're bringing in here. You know, just saying it is possible, especially with change next to the man. It is possible. It's possible. I'm telling you as the reader, it's possible. Let's look at the eight of wands. Time of the eight of wands for Libra. Time of the eight of wands for Libra. Regarding love for the first half of December. Time of the eight of wands for Libra. Page. <laughs> Page of Cups in Reverse. Oh, I don't like that for the Eight of Wands. Okay. Page of Cups in Reverse can be withholding uh, withholding emotions. It can also be dishonesty. Let's see what, is, what else comes out here. Talk about the Eight of Wands. Talk about the Eight of Wands for Libra. For the Death again in Reverse. Scorpionic Energy. Talk about the Eight of Wands. For Libra for the first half of December. Time of the Eight of Wands. Jesus. Five of Pentacles. Taurian energy. Make space over here. It almost is like someone or something's coming back from the dead. Ace of Wands in reverse. I feel like you're I feel like you're like pulling away from this person as they come into swoop. Time about the Eight of Wands. Knight of Swords in Reverse, Jesus. Gemini, could also be Air or Fire. Talking about the Eight of Wands. Eight of Swords, Gemini. Last card out, Seven of Cups in Reverse. Scorpionic Energy, overall we have Eight of Wands in Reverse. Wow, yeah, with the Six of Swords. Someone doesn't want you to, to keep progressing without them. That's what that is. Yeah, look at this overall energy. Eight of Wands in reverse, the Six of Swords. They want to stop you from moving on so fast. Yeah, this feels a little bit like a jilted lover or someone that you left behind. And so, and you you progressed, Libra. You progressed in your life. You did you. And you're almost to the 10. And it's like, oh, I can taste it. I can taste it. I'm almost at the 10. I almost have my legacy established. I almost have my business established. Or I almost have like my ultimate home life established. And for some, you have another person that you're doing that with. And for those where you have someone you're doing this with, the reason it, it hasn't come full force yet into that 10 is because you're resisting this. And while you're resisting this, it's a window of opportunity for this person to come in and try to swoop and sabotage this for those who already have this. Now, if you don't have this, Libra, the reason you're being halted at the 10 is because you need, you're waiting on someone that you haven't met yet or that you have who's going through this energy. If you haven't met them, you've got someone from your past here who's trying to swoop in in this little window of opportunity while you're stagnant, while you're stuck at a pause, okay? Again, for those where you haven't met this person, they're like, shit, there's a window. Where is all the cards here? <laughs> My board gets so messy. There's a window of opportunity and it's not gonna stay open for long. I can swoop in and tell Libra, I've changed. Now, some of you, like I said, who know the person who's going through this, they are coming back saying that they've changed and it's very possible that they have because it's this kind of a connection. Now, Libra, that's three different scenarios here for everybody involved. That's three different scenarios. You gotta use your discernment and your own intuition to figure out which one you're in. If you already have this person and you're building, then you know this person's just trying to come in and just fuck with shit because there's a window of opportunity to get for you to get to your 10 because you're resisting this okay going through whatever little break or transformative energy you have to go through to fully embrace a healthy 10 of cups energy with the person that's in your life now like i said if you don't have this if you don't have this and you're like i've, I've worked so hard i've done this i've done that i'm almost to my 10 why am i not to my 10 because there's someone who's supposed to be a part of that who's supposed to be a part of that that needs to go through this shit 
if you haven't met them, this person's going to come in and, from your past and claim that, they, that they're their person. That's what they're going to claim, okay? Now, if you know them, it is your person. You have to use your own discernment because it's different for everybody, okay? But you know, this Eight of Wands with you progressing, 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 this is all the energy attached to this person from the past, whether they're supposed to be a part of this Ten, for, ten of Cups for you or they're going to sabotage it, okay? It's definitely one or the other for those in that group. This is, I'm just seeing dishonesty. Yeah, it's like with the Five of Cups and the Nine of Wands, nine, Ace of Wands in reverse, excuse me. Five of Cups, Jesus. Five of Pence with the Ace of Wands in reverse. This is someone that you have lost a lot of passion for where you've been done. You've been done. And with that Knight of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Swords and Seven of Cups in reverse, I mean, that's a lot of fear. That That's a lot of fear. That's feeling trapped. That's almost getting held back too is what I'm getting. They feel they feel really left behind. They feel like you left them behind. Like they were, like they were just another option of yours and you threw them away. Whether you threw them away or not, that's how they're feeling. But again, based on the person that you know them to be, yuck a person like that would react that way because this is someone who's selfish for some even narcissistic some really needy really needing a lot of attention really needing their ego stroked all the time that's the person you knew this person from the past but for those where this is the person you're supposed to have that ten of cups with they need to go through this in order to be ready for that and to be able to embrace this energy but i already explained the three scenarios so please use your discernment to know what scenario you're in okay Oh, gosh. Okay. All right, Libra. Let's go ahead and get some advice. What do you say? Let's get some advice. I think that's very much needed here. Oh, any advice for my Libras? Yeah, I, I like God. Now I need a nap. <laughs> any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? 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 Any advice from my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice from my Libras regarding this spread? Oh, know your worth, Libra. Know what's actually yours, is what I just got with that, actually. Know what is actually yours. Know what actually is meant for you. Use your discernment. You already know. You already have your, your value. You already know. You already have a lot of self-worth, Libra. I can feel it off of you. <laughs> okay? You already know your worth. Know what is actually meant for you. You're going to have to practice some major discernment at this time. Because like I said, for some of you, this is your person. Who needs to go through that major ass, deep ass transformation in order to be ready for a ten of cups with you. Which is why you don't have it yet. Because it's supposed to be with them. Okay? Others... You might not have met the person yet who's going through their own shit and building up to the person they're supposed to be to be ready for a Ten of Cups to meet you and to have that with you. And this person's going to try to trick you and try to take them back. Others, you already have it, but this person's going to come in and try to fuck it up. Okay? So just know what group you're in and know what's actually yours. Dream the world into being 38, breaking down to an 11. I'm getting a lot of intuition with that, actually. A lot. Very Queen of Swords, high, high Priestess, Upper Chakra energy with this. It's a manifestation energy. But dreaming the world into being, this is the conceptualization. What does it look like, Libra? What does your Ten of Cups look like? What does it feel like? Conceptualize it. That's going to help you a little bit here. Use your intuition and, and conceptualize it. Visualize it to know really what is yours, okay? Okay. Any other advice for my Libras? Ah, Dove Spirit, BPs, 21 breaking down to a three. You're, you're going to handle this, Libra. I, I feel the stagnation energy with this of like, where's my 10? Where's my 10? Where's my 10? It's okay. Everything's happening as it should be. Just enjoy where you are right now. You're going to get your 10. The whole point of getting to a 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles is to enjoy the ride. It is a ride, okay? Getting there. You don't usually just get that like, 
willy-nilly you know sometimes it requires quite a journey or a lot of work just be at peace with what's happening right now and be at peace as to where you are because then you're gonna get there and then it's about enjoying it, right? So just enjoy the rest of the ride, but just be at peace knowing that your intuition will tell you exactly what you need to do and what is really meant for you, who is really meant to be a part of this. You're gonna handle this just fine as long as you keep trusting that and just be at peace with everything, okay? Any other advice from my Libras regarding this spread? Oh, yep. Any other advice from my Libras regarding this spread? Wow, we got three more cards out here. That grasshopper has been coming out for everybody. So now we have elephant spirit. Learn from the past. 25 breaking down to a seven. Learn from your past mistakes. Most of you, this person trying to come back ain't your person. Okay? So just be mindful of that. Most, I would say most of you, it is not. But practice your discernment here. But a lot of you are just going to have to look at the past and be like, oh yeah, I'm not repeating history. I know better. Okay? But again, Use your discernment for your own situation. You're all the masters of your own life, as I always say. Grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. 30, breaking down to a three. And then eagle spirit, spirit has your back. 23, breaking down to a five. Trust in spirit. Trust your intuition. Fall back on that. Your discernment is rooted in your intuition, Libras. It's rooted in your mentality, in your mind, the mental, because you're an air sign. That's where it truly lies for you. Eagle spirit is basically saying you're protected right now. You are protected, so just keep trusting Spirit, keep trusting your intuition and be at peace as to where you, you are. You will make the right choice as long as you don't overthink it and you don't rush it. You're going to be just fine. But you are protected here against any haters that are coming after you. Because I'm telling you, outside of the situation, I felt a lot of hate outside of this situation, particularly in the workplace, which I think a lot of you might already be in tune with. So keep in mind, you're also protected there. All right. Overall, we do have analog spirit. Life is speeding up with the energy of two. Like I said, you're on the fast track to progress. You're on the fast track to progress, Libra. You are. And it, I was almost done. <laughs> You're on the fast track to progress and it's very noticeable. So noticeable. Look at you. Wow, Libra. Look at you. Look at you. Peacock spirit. Let it shine. 46, a cyclical energy. And horse spirit. Freedom is yours. Energy of 33. Talk about total attractive, independent, I'm confident, shining bright, and I'm, uh, didn't I get horses earlier? That's funny, I did get horses earlier. And then I'm regal, and I'm powerful energy. That is you, Libra. You're, like I said, your power is undeniable right now. Everybody can see it. Everybody, the good people and the bad people. So just be mindful of that, okay? You will attract all kinds because you're also on the fast track to success. However, with this Ten of Cups specifically, you're blocked off because of the many because of three reasons I stated. Either you already have this person and you need to go through a little bit of a transformative energy to kind of recoup your energy and to really be fully prepared to accept a Ten of Cups, a healthy Ten of Cups. Um, if you don't know the person you're supposed to have it with, then they're still needing to go through their shit. And this person from your past is going to try to swoop in and fuck it up. And if you do know them, it's this person coming back from the past who needs to go through their deep ass transformation, okay? But you're on the fast fast track to success. You just are. And it's undeniable, okay? Libras, this was intense. I'm gonna go lay down for a little bit, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out Patreon, Vimeo, and Instagram, and I will see you guys later, okay? Namaste.